Hello, this is Nidagoji here coming in with another video, and today we are discussing. And today is another Viagin Battle Royale. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna. You already know the deal. I I use my original kaiju and have him fight other original, other like fan works and stuff. This time I couldn't get a fan, so I hope <laughs> hope Spider doesn't mind me using Evil Godzilla. His Godzilla version, Evil Godzilla. <laughs> so I will, uh, I'm sorry for not for not using your kaiju. I just needed to use a kaiju to. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna use Evil Godzilla. I'm gonna have him fight against Fijin. Hopefully, uh, Spyro doesn't mind me <laughs> using Evil Godzilla. Yeah, for one of my videos. Okay. Here's the drawing that I drew. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty cool drawing. I can just I didn't do that well on it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. And then I got another drawing that I'll show in the next video. But here's how I here's how I'll do this video. Now let's get into a little background between Evil Godzilla. Evil Godzilla is basically one of Spyro's original works. It's basically from behind the scenes of Evil Godzilla, it seems like this is like it. There hasn't been any official stuff about Evil Godzilla, but it's what I'm aware of. But Evil Godzilla has been in development f for a long time, and currently he's working on. Currently, Spyro is working on a video of Evil Godzilla, an Evil Godzilla fan film. It's been on development. It's still on development for now it's been on development for a while I will watch it when it comes out because I am so excited for what he has planned for Evil Godzilla I will watch it when it comes out I know this, it's been through like development it's been in development for a while now and I will watch it when it comes out oh so uh so Vajan can you uh not Vajan Spyro <laughs> I was wondering, uh, can you, uh, maybe you can put that Raijin in there or not? Okay, never mind. But basically, Evil Godzilla, evil version of Godzilla, destroys cities, countless lives, and from what I've seen about, between images of Evil Godzilla, it, he is pretty big. If I had to guess of how tall he is, he can grow, he can grow to about the size of a planet. That's how tall he is. I'm guessing he's able to change size at will. He can go as large as a planet. He can... S but when he's monster height, I'm assuming from images of Vega Godzilla, the Heisei Godzilla, which is 100 meters, and this Godzilla towers over him. So if I had to guess how big he is, I'm guessing about the size of King Ghidorah. Heisei King Ghidorah, if I had to guess. 150 meters. If I had to guess how big he is, 150 meters at kaiju at normal size, which is basically 492 feet for people who don't know how to do meters. 492 feet. So he's pretty big. My Raijin doesn't really have a size yet. He's basically like Kudojiro. He basically is the size of the monster. Is the size that he needs to be when he's fighting a monster. But I think... Yeah, but he would be a little smaller. This fat level would be a lot longer, so yeah. My version... I, maybe I should probably go into detail what my version's origins are. Hmm. Nah, I do that in Wattpad. Okay. Oh, if you haven't read Wattpad, I highly recommend you do. The prologue, the, uh, chapter one is already out. It's actually a prologue, but it chapter one. It doesn't really. It just sets the groundwork for what's to come. It's basically more like a prologue than an actual chapter. 
It's more of a prologue. It doesn't really have that much Viagen in it. But I really hope, I really hope you read it. It's not that long of a read. But Viagen is basically a god, a d- real life dragon god that I used. But it might take. It's a real life dragon god from Japan folklore. Yeah. And my version of Raijin will basically be him being protecting humanity and and him to sh- him trying to fight off monsters who are trying to destroy Japan. Yeah. He's basically my version of Kaiju's. Raijin is one of the best kaiju is basically like how to put it, um basically like a gamma version a dragon version of gamma just instead of him being created by humanity he is already he protects humanity he's a god he is a god a dragon god okay before you say anything no it's not a dragon god from fairy tale 100 year quest god damn it i know there's gonna be some people in the comments section being like oh Oh, Dragon God? Oh, you're talking about Fairy Tale Andre and Quest? No, I'm not talking. This is a real life Dragon God, goddammit. Read your Japanese folklore, goddammit. It's a real life Dragon God, goddammit. God damn it. I do know a little bit about Vyagen, goddammit. Okay. Anyway, this Vyagen would be waking up after a thousand year rest. For being after resting in a mountain in a cave in Mount Fuji that was that has a huge lake in it, Vajin sleeps in. He basically awakens from this cave and he goes f- and meets a girl who I haven't put in the story yet, but yeah. Viagen is basically Dragon God. A real life Dragon God. That's basically what he is. Viagen is probably my favorite. It's probably the most overpowered. Is the most overpowered. It'll probably be very, very tough in a fight. I'm working on chapter one right now, so well, not chapter one, chapter two. So I will sh- that will come out when it comes out. But evil. But let's stop talking about oranges. Let's get into the crim the crim of this battle. Let's get into how the battle will play out. Raijin will f- Evil Godzilla will probably be going on a rampage. Raijin is sleeping. Will probably go on a rampage near the Mount Fuji areas. Will probably be destroying villages and destroying and then heading to the city. Near destroying f- the Fuji areas. Killing tons of people and then Raijin discovers that he's near his home, so he wakes up. He comes out of his mountain and tries to stop Evil Godzilla. Evil Godzilla, they stare at each other for a while. Raijin fights Evil Godzilla. Evil Godzilla, Raijin is owned in every way, is get killed. He fires his breath, fires his fire breath, his fire breath, and has no fat on him. Raijin. Godzilla just slams him down. No. Evil Godzilla just slams him down to the ground, pins him down, dulls him around. Vigen tries flies away and tries to attack him from the sky. And even picks up Godzilla from the sky and drops him. Down on the ground, but it does nothing to him. It does nothing to Evil Godzilla. I don't know why I'm saying Godzilla so much. It does nothing to Evil Godzilla. 
Evil Godzilla tries to stop Vigen so many times. Evil Godzilla, it's a pretty even match between these two. They had seen some blows. But it's clearly, it's clearly tell that you can tell that these monsters are both evenly matched. No monster sends for it. They're both evenly matched. But Vi but Evil Godzilla gets the upper hand and almost kills Vajin. Literally almost kills Vajin. Almost kills Vajin, brutally wounding him. Brutally wounding him. Like when I mean brutally, I mean wounding him so bad. The Vajin literally almost dies right there. Oh, he dies. Destroys him with atomic. Destroys him with his atomic breath. Brutally wounding, wounding Vajin. And Vajin literally almost dies right there. And Godzilla continues. Ev not Godzilla. Why do I keep on saying Godzilla? Evil Godzilla continues his rampage. And Ryujin is about to die, and then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, what it hap a storm comes in out of nowhere, just for plot convenience. He revives Ryujin with lightning. Yeah, he has electrical abilities, so yeah. Revives Ryujin with the storm. It gives him a new ability, ability to shock. Godzilla shot the hell out of God's shot. Why do I keep on saying Godzilla? Shot the hell out of evil Godzilla. It basically shots the hell out of him. Shots the hell out of evil Godzilla. And the fight continues into the mountains. The fight is so great that they continue into the mountains. They fight and fight and fight and fight and fight. That they get, they basically end up destroying a uh, Ebola. Uh, the descent, the destroy. Remember the end of King Kong vs Godzilla. Basically the same like that. Evil Godzilla. Basically the same ending as that. Ryujin emerges from the sea, but Evil Godzilla swims underwater. And gets away. So it basically ends up in a draw. It basically ends up in a cliffhanger. Did Ryujin win? Or did Evil Gods or did is he retreating? But Evil Gods Little Surfaces But Ryujin But Ryujin Evil Gods Little Surfaces and gets away. But Vajin ends up also surfaces and discover that Evil Godzilla is escaping because he realizes that he's out that if he continues his battle, he will be outmatched. So Evil Godzilla gets away. And Vajin wins. By default. Not really. And in the in the draw. So yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's how I end this battle. Not a long battle, but okay. Now, if you're wondering what's going to be next, I'm going to have to finally watch that 2 hour and 45 minute. Jesus, it's fucking long. I'm going to have to watch it. Because this... Because I'm going to have to watch it. Tune in. For Apex Godora. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long one. It is going to be a long one. Is that Goji saying off? And remember, stay big, G fans.